Hey guys, Jarek here, gonna be doing some Halo 4. If my voice sounds a little bit different, I was sick this week, so try to try to forgive that and I'll talk about that if I have enough time in this video, but for now I want to rant about something that I've talked about before, but I don't feel like I can rant about this enough. And that is how disappointing Halo 4's multiplayer is, and I'm talking strictly multiplayer here, not the single player. To me, Halo 4, it's the biggest disappointment of 2012. I was fairly hyped for Halo 4, and uh, I was very optimistic with 343 taking over Halo in general. Because Bungie kind of felt, it felt like Bungie was just sort of getting bored with Halo, it felt like they wanted to move on, you could kind of feel it with Reach. And so I was all for 343 taking over, and I agree with a lot of the stuff they did. Giving you a uh, giving you a loadout system, changing up the power weapons especially, I loved that change. Because uh, I was never a big fan of Halo, uh, where I was a big fan of Halo, but I was never a big fan of the way Halo worked. I was never a big fan of spawning, running for the power weapons, and locking down the map. To me, that's just being a cheap ass. But that's the way you have to play it to win, so... You know, I was never really a big fan of it, but that's the way you do it. So I'm glad of that. I'm glad that 343 changed that. But that's pretty much where I've, everything positive about 343 can stop. Everything else is frustrating beyond all belief. And every time I go to play Halo 4, I just ask myself, why am I playing this? It's not fun. So let me go ahead and rant about why. First off, what the fuck happened to the playlists? We're missing half of the stuff that's expected in a Halo game. There's no girth ball. There's no regular free-for-all, we have this stupid regicide shit. And there's, there's literally about 8 or 10 different playlists that just aren't there, and where are they? Where do they go? What happened to it? Uh, especially free-for-all. Free-for-all, one, it's the game mode I'm best at, and it's the one that I prefer more than anything else, and not having that alone is good enough reason just to be pissed off for me. Uh, but when you don't have half of the stuff you're expected to have, that's a little bit of a problem, and they... I don't know why they decided to do it the way they did, where they'll patch in a new playlist every other week, and then they'll get rid of it just to make people even more annoyed. I have no idea why they did that. And then the biggest reason I'm so annoyed at Halo 4 is the weapon balancing being so goddamn awful. I'm tired of the carbine being incredibly weak, taking 8 shots to the head, and the battle rifle just plain simply being better. I'm tired of the DMR being a laser accurate, incredibly fast, just rape machine. There's no reason to use anything else with the DMR, it's absolutely ridiculous. I'm tired of the suppressor and the storm rifle having absolutely no range. If they're past 10 feet, don't even try shooting at them. You're not going to win, because they, no doubt, they'll have a DMR, and they're going to kill you. I'm tired of the fucking bolt shot. Fuck that thing. I want to find who at 343 thought it would be a good idea for you to be able to spawn with a power weapon. It's a fucking power weapon. I don't care what you say. Anything that'll kill you in one hit with a good 10 to 15 blast radius is a power weapon. And why you're able to spawn with it as a secondary, I I'd love to know that too. Not only does it mess up the weapon balancing, but it messes up the meleeing too. It totally fucks everything when it comes to Halo. Halo is supposed to be a good balance between guns, grenades, and melee. But when they add the bolt shot, you're very, very reluctant to go to melee someone because you're going to get bullshit killed no matter how many bullets you put into them. Doesn't matter if they have no shield, they can pull that bolt shot out and just bail their ass out. It's something that just plain should not exist in the game. We have two shotguns that are power weapons, and that's it. That's all you need. <coughs> Pardon me. Like I said, I'm still sick. So yeah, I'm, I'm very, very disappointed with Halo 4. I have absolutely no idea why they've done the things they did. Like I said, I agreed with everything they did, but the execution is so fucking terrible that I can't enjoy it. I, I don't know. I, just, I guess I'll just go back to playing Halo 1 now, because... I, I'm not going to continue playing Halo 4. I, I'm pretty sure there's plenty more I could think to rant about when it comes to Halo 4, but that's more than enough to rant about. Let me just talk about being sick. So, this year was not necessarily a great Christmas for me. On Christmas Eve, I started coughing. Um, and it was that cough where it's like, I really hope this doesn't turn into something worse, even though you kind of knew in the back of your head that it's definitely going to be something worse. And it was. On Christmas Day, I woke up and I just... Oh, man, I just fucking felt terrible. Uh, and it was the stomach flu. So I, when I woke up, I just kind of laid there, just congested, feeling like a, the slight urge to puke. And I, I lay there for a good four hours, and I finally forced myself to get up, uh, put on some shoes, put on some clothes, go to the store, which was laborish just to do that. Uh, go to the store and get some ginger ale. Uh, get some pepperoncinis, which, by the way, if you're sick, eating pepperoncinis is actually a very good thing to do. It clears congestion, and um, it actually makes you feel very good. So, bell peppers are definitely something you'd love to do. Love to eat when you're sick. 
Um, I got a bunch of other stuff just to make me not feel so bad while I was sick. Um, I had like two liters of ginger ale. And by the way, when you have the slight urge to puke, don't carry stuff that's heavy. Because that's just going to provoke that feeling and make it feel even worse. Oh, I felt horrible, to say the least. So, I got all that stuff at the store, I came back home, put it all away, and then promptly puked. And at least it was a stomach flu I had, because that's the one thing I can say, is that the stomach flu, for two days or so, you're going to feel terrible. But at least it's over fairly quickly, whereas other sicknesses will last like a week of just being stuck in bed. I mean, stomach flus may feel worse for that short period of time, but, um... Oh well, you get my point. So yeah, at least the one thing about puking, though, is that, uh, after you puke, you- Oh my gosh, you feel so much better, assuming you don't feel like you still have to. It, uh, I don't know, it helps in general. So yeah, I, I've been sick since then. I, today was the first day where I didn't feel absolutely terrible. Um, my body's no longer freezing. It was one of those sicknesses. A lot of people around here are getting sick. I live in Portland, if you don't know. So if, if you've gotten sick, too, I wouldn't be surprised. I know a lot of people that have gotten sick. I think my grandparents also got sick, which is a little bit more of a problem, because, you know, older people have a little bit of a problem with sicknesses. It's harder to get over. But yeah, temperature. It was one of those sicknesses that just majorly screwed over your body temperature. It, um... I, my body temperature was way high. However, I felt really cold. It was also one of those sicknesses where I was just sweating like crazy. I felt so freaking disgusting. But I was cold and I wanted to get warmer. I swear, I turned my heater up and it must have been 85 degrees in my house. Which, for those of you that live in the south, that may sound somewhat normal, but that's not what I keep my house at. Nowhere near that. Uh, right now it's 37 degrees outside Fahrenheit, and that's pretty normal for around this time of the year. That's really not cold, that's actually pretty average. Um, so yeah, I usually only keep it, you know, 65 in my house, something like that, and that's good. So, the fact that it was like a good 20 degrees hotter than what it should have been, says a lot. So, oh man, it, that feeling is just so gross, where you're cold, yet you're hot, and you're sweating, and your clothes are getting all sweaty, and your bed sheets are smelling horrible. Man, it, the first thing I did when I was, you know, healthy enough to actually sit up and not be in my bed, uh, I took a shower. And then I went back to grab my sheets and everything to wash them, and oh god, I, I couldn't even hold them. They just smelled so badly, just for how much I was sweating and it, all the body odor from that. And it smelled like I just ran a marathon. It was just it, horrible. But yeah, the uh, symptoms of... It was a stomach flu. I don't need to tell you the symptoms of stomach flu. The one really odd thing that did happen, though, is that this stomach flu totally messed with my taste, which was really strange. Um, and it still kind of is messing with my taste, which pisses me off, because, um, it tastes like, right now, everything tastes like I just brushed my teeth. Also, fuck you, Bolt Shot. That's why I fucking hate that thing. But yeah, everything kind of has that taste like I just brushed my teeth. Not all the way, but kind of. It's not as bad today as it was yesterday. I've actually never had a sickness do that before. It, um, it tastes... Ugh. It, it's annoying, because, uh... I was finally healthy enough to, you know, eat some actual food, because I had been eating nothing but, like, chicken noodle soup for a few days, so I wouldn't have to puke or anything. And then when I got healthy enough, I was like, alright, fucking sweet, I'm gonna go get some teriyaki to eat some food I enjoy. And then it just tasted bad, because I felt like I just brushed my teeth. It was the most disappointing thing. So, yeah, that's really odd. I've actually never had a sickness ever do that to me before. So, I don't know, the stomach flu this year was odd. And I don't get sick! Like, that's something that, apparently sicknesses are down this year, but I don't get sick. And of course, this year, when sicknesses are down, is the year where I get sick. I think it's just fuck you too, Portland. But, um, yeah, I think the last time I was sick was a good seven years or so ago. Fuck you, Bolt Shot. I fucking hate that thing. Yeah, I think the last time I was sick was like seven years or so ago, after I came back from London. And that was just because I was trapped in a plane with a bunch of other people that were sick for a very long plane ride. So, of course, I got sick. Anyway, there's the end of uh, end of this video. It's just some decent gameplay, nothing absolutely amazing, and I'll see you guys later.